Hey everyone, The Gambler's Chest is finally here, and after seven years of development, it feels like we're standing on the precipice of the next era of Kingdom Death. With this video, I'm hoping to capture the truly special experience of opening this enormous expansion. I've recorded and edited down the whole process, and I'll be dropping in to add my commentary throughout. I hope you enjoy watching it as much as I enjoyed opening it. As you can see, it's absolutely massive. You can see that I'm not actually strong enough to lift it from its outer packaging uh, because it's just too big and heavy. And I had to call in some muscle from a friend and together we were able to get it out. I'm gonna make this spoiler free as much as possible, but I also am gonna keep this little bingo card here so we can check off each of the things that I mentioned in my previous Gambler's Chest video. Uh, all of the new features and main systems, and as we see evidence of them in this footage, uh, we can tick them off of the bingo card. As you can see here, the box was slightly damaged in certain places, but very fortunately there was no damage at all to the Gambler's Chest expansion itself, so the packaging seems very sturdy. I think the Gambler's Chest is on sale at the moment on the Kingdom Death shop, so hopefully that reassures you if you were on the fence about getting one. I cut the footage here because I needed some more help to flip the box over, and lifting it off, there's this extra layer of paper and then this outer shell, which is embossed just like the main Kingdom Death game. I stopped here because the reflections on the embossed Gambler logo were really pretty. There are two boxes inside this outer shell. The first one is this huge box of miniatures, which I'm pretty sure is twice the size of the one in the main Kingdom Death box, at least. And it's just packed, and I've already started opening it up and building some of those models, and I plan to make some videos about assembling them too. And then finally there's the expansion itself, and the reason I pause here in the footage is because I'm just momentarily stunned by how gorgeous this piece of Crimson Crocodile artwork is. Uh, this is the first bit of artwork that I had really seen from the expansion in the flesh, and it really is just breathtaking, and I wasn't expecting it at all. Flipping the box over, you can see that it looks very similar to the main Kingdom Death uh, core box, and very satisfyingly it's the same depth and width, so they stack very nicely on top of each other, which I'll show at the end of this video. So after very satisfyingly removing all of that cellophane wrapping, here's the final expansion box itself. And it's very high quality, just like the main Kingdom Death box, which for an expansion is quite unnecessary, but is still very appreciated nonetheless. So here are the two boxes, and let's start by opening the expansion. The first thing you see is a big sheet of tokens, and I think they are Torment tokens and another kind of token, and a bunch that I really just have no idea at all what they do. Uh, so I look forward to diving into those in the future. And lots of terrain. I think the blood pool in the bottom right is for the Crimson Crocodile. I've picked that up somewhere, but I have no idea about the rest, so I'll find out about that too in time. Here is the very iconic encounter board, which is looking really lovely and will make a really nice backdrop for the rest of this video. Uh, I'll put it there in the background. Next up, the character sheets, which are extra wide now because they have philosophy and knowledge uh, sections on them. And here are the first set of extra tall philosophy cards. And yeah, they're extra big for more artwork and more text on the card. And although I'm not gonna open those yet, uh, we will get into them in time. Here are some scout discoveries, and I think that's a settlement event, which raises questions because it's murder, but I didn't look too closely because I didn't want uh, any spoilers. Here is the very adorable tiny gear grid for the scouts that we've seen in some of the previews for the Gambler's Chest. That's definitely a system I'm really looking forward to learning about. And the Gambler's Chest rulebook, which is almost as big as the actual Kingdom Death rulebook, uh, which surprised me. We've got this uh, card for storing some of the different new kinds of extra tall cards. And 
and the settlement record sheets here which come in a big pack and looking at this I could see that the butcher and I think the hand are recurring uh, characters in the Dreamkeeper campaign but almost everything else I think is completely new so yeah I was just gawping at that for a short while here are some dividers for all of the new cards there are just so many cards in this box but I didn't want to drag the video down by opening up every single packet and I also didn't want to spoil anything since I'm hoping to experience it all blind. Here was the very intriguing, I think it's called the Sharp Dice. The box also comes with a bunch of extra lantern dice and very mysteriously this envelope that we can't open. Uh, until we're instructed to, so that raises a lot of questions. And here are even more philosophy cards. I just can't wait to get into this system and understand what the heck's going on with it, because I really uh, have no idea right now. You can see all kinds of different cards there, seed patterns, of which there seem to be quite a lot. And here are loads and loads of gear cards. Uh, I think we'd seen the rawhide bandana before in one of the previews that I guess is part of the Rawhide set, which raises questions <laughs> all on its own. And here are just a ton of booklets, all of different philosophies, and each one is quite a few pages, so there's a lot of rules content there. And these opportunity cards, which I have no idea, <laughs> again, I have no idea of the purpose of. And yeah, very intriguingly, there's this big, very beautiful uh, embossed box that says settlement on it. And breaking it open, uh, some settlement event cards. I think that's the Coruscium for the Smog Singers. And lots more cards, some character cards and AI cards and another pattern that you can see in that packet. Also this unique design for the Bone Eaters encounter card, which seems to be similar to the basic action card that other monsters have, but has extra artwork on it. we move on to the miniature assembly box. I was quite sick when I recorded this footage. I had a really bad cold when the gambler's chest arrived, so that's why I'm wearing pyjamas in the footage. <laughs> I wasn't going to wait any longer to open it up. So here is just a massive plethora of different sprues for the narrative sculpts, for the different monsters, Oh, and here are the tiny dice, I think, that feature in the Bone Eaters somehow. And here is the Crimson Crocodile, who I hope to make a video about this coming weekend. Something I wanted to check was whether the King model is any different than the previous Plastic King released a few years ago. Uh, I already had one built, so here I'm comparing it to the one that came in the Gambler's Chest. And indeed, they are the exact same model, so I don't have to make that model again, which is kind of cool. And uh, finally, I opened up the rule book, and I have to admit, I did spend quite a bit of time just kind of gazing at the rule book, but I haven't read any of the rules or anything yet. And uh, I'll leave out the footage of me just kind of staring at some of the pages. But as you can see, it's a real beautiful object. There's a dedication right at the start, thanking uh, all of the backers and people that have been along for the ride with the gambler's chest, uh, which I felt kind of emotional reading. And as you can see, there's a lot of pages and a lot of events and all kinds of stuff in this rule book, so a lot to get into. And there is that dedication I mentioned. It is really amazing that this massive project has finally come to fruition. It really feels like this is going to be many years of our Kingdom Death life. And I've already got my first session booked in to play uh, a new campaign with the Dreamkeeper. And yeah, it's going to be a very exciting time. So I really look forward to making lots of videos about that. Finally, I'll leave you with this shot 
of the Gambler's Chest expansion sitting on top of the main Kingdom Death Monster game. And yeah, that was a real satisfying moment to finally have them together. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.